Okay, so uh, I'm gonna, uh, this video is about what does a spiritual seeker do when they're in a very dark place, a place of um, uh, low energy, you know, resignation, um, not even having the energy to do spiritual tools like pray or do anything. There's a lack of energy, maybe even a despair or, or heavy feelings uh, or, and um, uh, could it potentially be a dark night of the soul? What would I do? And I've definitely had those experiences and definitely with my kidney failure when there was just absolute despair and lack of energy. Um, with a dialysis machine and total exhaustion of the body and depletion. Um, and, uh, and it's like there's no energy, even if I wanted to pray, it seemed like there wasn't. And, uh, or I've had times when I've been disconnected uh, in the past, uh, in my addictive days, um, early addictive days uh, before I got in really strongly into the spiritual. Um, so of, of just disconnection or despair or, or low, low energy with my kidney failure. So what, what do you do? I mean, you might know that you should be praying. You might know that you should be uh, going off to uh, places. But the thing for me is uh, the thing of when I haven't got the energy intrinsic in me, I need to expose myself to high vibrational fields, high levels of consciousness. Now, how do I expose myself to high levels of consciousness? So, which in, in effect, they act as attractive fields. They act like, because they're at such a high vibration, they help to pull my vibration, which is very, very low. In fact, my, if my vibration is so low that I don't even have energy to walk or move out of the house or do anything, let alone you have enough concentration in me to pray or even to read, you know, it's like that's such a strong uh, depletion of energy and despair. So what I, you know, I know intuitively that I need to have myself be exposed to the highest level of consciousness I can. So if I can't read, um, but I, you know, the thing I do, of course, is like, well, you know, um, I'm so grateful that uh, Dr. Hawkins' research calibrated different things, you know, music and, you know, like Mozart, uh, Bach, Beethoven calibrates at the vibration of high love. Uh, gangster rap music, very low vibration, uh, uh, horror movies and gangster rap music. Uh, if I'm feeling depleted, I don't want to be watching uh, horror movies and uh, gang <laughs> gangster rap music, like Kill Everyone with a Machine Gun, because that uh, the vibration of that, I'm, uh, you know, I'm already like low in energy and that will just take my energy really in a really bad place. The, those are the vibrations of disconnection. So. Apart from music, actually, you know, what I do, I mean, I need to align myself. There's music that I can just listen to even if I can't move in a bed, which will start to bring hope and light to me. And I'll start to, it'll be a vibration in the room that I can align with. And also for me, the thing I really love to do is, of course, listen to spiritual speakers, or I could listen to spiritual meetings that have been recorded or going on. Um, uh, could be Zoom meetings in this COVID situation, um, but all spiritual teachers, recordings of spiritual teachers at the highest level of vibration. So for, in my personal view, um, Hawkins is the highest teacher who's got lots of recordings, but there are others, you know, there's a, a lovely recording on, on YouTube of Ramesh Balkasar in his early days, not his late days, because I do believe he may have fallen from grace in his later days, but lots of Hawkins recordings, even on, even on Google. Uh, sorry, YouTube, you do Dr. David R. Hawkins, lots of recordings there. But let's say I'm feeling, um, but e if I was low energy, I'd put in, in YouTube, I'd put Dr. David R. Hawkins, like low energy or despair or, or dark night of the soul. See, see if there's any recordings I can listen to. I personally have a lot of audible recordings from Hawkins and he has his office series whereby he talks on different subjects. So if I'm in like, uh, um, if I'm in fear, for example, that he's got a recording just on fear, so I can hear him talking almost like to me, how I release fear and hearing his high energy. Um, I've had times when I've been depleted and I listen to Hawkins and suddenly miracles start happening and I start to feel hope and positive, you know, in, in, in that darkness. So, but whatever it is you can do, if you have the energy to go to meetings and just sit and be quiet, but being like 12-step meetings, of course, the miracles meetings, uh, whether they be physical, 
uh, preferably, or Zoom. You're just being exposed to that high vibration. If you can listen to teachers or go to groups, you know, the 12 step groups have problems for people um, with all kinds of problems, if you can find one more specific to your problem. But even, but they are, whatever the problem is, it's a spiritual disconnection from the presence of God. And, and they're just tools for surrendering. So all of those things. Um, so in the dark night, you know, maybe I would listen um, to some very high spiritual music, maybe some choir music or some Bach or something, Beethoven, and put on a recording of Hawkins or your favorite spiritual teacher, or it could be The Course in Miracles being read to you nonstop. You can get that on audio nowadays. Um, Audible has a lot of stuff and you just listen and listen. And even if you've got low energy, that it will start to gravitate you and pull you up. It's better to listen to spiritual music and spiritual speakers. I choose the highest vibrations that sort of lift you up, that you're able to listen to and continuously listen to them. Even go to sleep with them, with them going on. And that will be a, a, a place. Now, if you've got a little bit more energy, now this is not, you know, I know you can't, maybe if you can't, haven't got the energy to think or pray, you can't. But um, uh, definitely when I've been in extreme trouble, I prayed my ass off so far, you know, so fast, and that has brought spectacular miracles my way. So um, uh, you could, if this video is helpful, it'll be on YouTube, you can listen to this, it might inspire you to what music or what book you should read or um, whatever. Um, and, uh, or if you like me, or if you like Hawkins, if you like The Course in Miracles, if you've got your favorite Course in Miracles teacher, or enlightened teacher, or non-duality teacher, just um, put them on and try and connect to their vibration. And uh, and uh, hope, you know they uh, if they've got a high vibration, they'll be connected to the divine. Okay, I'm going to stop recording that.